Assalamualaikum. Today I would like to present my research uh, topic which is business model elements for SME contractors in adopting industrial building system. This is the outline of uh, my presentation. Um, we will look at the introduction, issues of the studies, problem statement, the business model element and conclusion. IBS can be defined as a construction technique in which building components are produced, whether on-site or off-site, in, in a regulated setting, distributed, placed and assembled in a structure with minimum additional site work. The government has been vigorously championing the use of IBS in the construction industry, especially for pub public and private projects. This is because of the benefit of IBS. The benefit of IBS are more on cost and time sensitivity, improving building efficiency and productivity, reducing workplace safety and health hazard, elevating skill, workers' issues, and reliance on manual uh, foreign labor, and achieving the ultimate goal, which is to reduce the overall construction cost. The issue of this study is the participation and performance of contractor in IBS business is still low, especially among as, as small and medium sized contractors. The problem um, from the issues is SME contractors that use IBS in their project have shown non satisfactory results. Some projects were more costly, lack in quality, and less productive. In some cases, selected building projects were comfort and built using IBS construction but ended up with project deferral and low quality. The low adoption and performance of IBS may to the extent be linked to lack of preparation by contractors in terms of important modification in their business model. So SME will require a specific business model to guide them in adopting IBS construction. This is due that IBS is considered uh, a speciali specialized trade and its construction approach is different from conventional method of construction. Based on a um, thorough review of 16 papers in the area of building business model, 19 business model elements were identified to be important to IBS business. They are target customers, market segmentation, marketing strategy, distribution channel, role in supply chain, supplier relation, product, design, manufacturing, installation, standardization, customization, production method, key resources, core competencies, supply chain management, continuous improvement, sale management, and partnering. Okay, let's look the business model element one by one. First is target customer. So target customer is very important in business because it's define the different group or segments of customer to be offer value. Targeting customer in business of construction is not clear cut. The contractor will need to design a system that meets the customer requirements. Next is market segment. There is a need for contractor to identify a suitable market segment in the IBS market. The market segment in IBS business in Malaysia construction industry can be divided into public and private sector. Next, marketing strategy. When a proper market segment is identified, marketing segmentation should lead to a design of distinctive marketing strategy for each segment in relation to the four P's, which are product, price, place, and promotion. Next is role in supply chain. The role of a company in the construction process is also important in order to 
ascertain the extent of control that the company has in the IBS construction supply chain. Next, supplier relationship. Contractor must have a good relationship with supplier. This is to maintain a stable production system and it must be based on long-term collaboration. While maintaining a good relationship with supplier, contractor are able to de deliver better in, in the competitive construction industry. Next is distribution channel. Distribution channel is also very important in business because it clarifies the different means of the company to connect with its customer. The distribution channel in the construction refer to how construction company approach their client in order to promote or sell their product and services. Next is product. Product is part of the value proposition which is to be offered by to be offered to customer. IBS product can come in form of modules, element or component system. Next is design. In order to adopt IBS, contractor should convert their business process in the in the direction of incorporating design and manufacturing in their uh, chain of supply. <clears throat> the contractor involved in IBS must process design capabilities to undertake IBS project. This can be either in-house or outsourced. <clears throat> Next is manufacturing. By having the capabilities to manufacture, contractor can be in control of the process and the profit and loss can be anticipated, uh, customated accordingly across IBS project selected by the company. Next is installation. Beside design and manufacturing services, contractor involved in IBS are also offering the installation service to the IBS component of the IBS component to client. The installation work may be done in house or by accessing it to specialized installer. Next is standardization. Standardized, standardized design will promote mass production and that economy economies of scale can thus reduce the cost of product. This, um, this is mainly because standardization can improve proficiency and productivity rates of the workers and reduce the labor costs. Next, customization. Customization is a menu driven approach where customers choose features and products that are personalized to specific customer needs. Contractor should be able to offer customization of building for client as this is to produce the highest price of IBS and to offer the best interest of the client. Next production method, the production of building component generally take place at a particular facilities located in the factory where numerous materials are combined to construct building component. The production can also be done at the site of the construction which will result in cost saving in relation to transportation. Next, key resources. Key resources are essential in build business at, as it is necessary for the operation of business. The key resources required for adoption of IBS are financial, physical and human resources. Next is the core competencies. Skill and competencies are very important in IBS adoption. Successful implementation of IBS entails experienced workers with the technical capability in design, planning, scheduling, organizing and controlling function pertaining to the coordination production and distribution of component. Next will be the supply chain management. This business element is important for smooth implementation of the business model. The supply chain in IBS demand close control of material and resource management 
to safeguard stability and punctual uh, construction component deliveries at site. Next, continuous improvement. Continuous improvement should be based on process experience and customer feedback in order to serve the customer better contractors will need to frequently improve their operation in adopting IPS. Next, sales management. The sale of IPS component can be done through the company own sales staff or sales partners. For the companies to be influential in IBS business, marketing and sale must be focused on public and private client and architect and also to big leading contractors. And last will be partnering. This business element depict the, the network of cooperation settlement with other companies are essential in order to efficiently offer and commercialize value. In conclusion, SME contractor will need to establish more innovative business model and plan for future turnover. For this study conducted, 19 of the business model element has been identified. They are target customers, market segment, marketing strategy, distribution channel, role in supply chain, supplier research, supplier research ship, uh, product, design, manufacturing, installation, standardization, customization, production method, key resources, core competencies, supply chain management, continuous improvement, sales turnover, and partnering. These business model elements are essential towards guiding the SME contractor to move from commissioner construction method to IBS practice and to increase their performance in IBS business. That's all from me. Thank you.